All right, we're going to call to order the meeting of the Parks and Recreation Advisory Board for October. Um, What's the meeting? We've got the agenda in front of us. Do I have a motion to approve the agenda as written? So um, all right. Take your pick. All right. All right, I have John as a first. How about a second? I'll a second. Okay, thank you, Dolly. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, we've got the agenda approved and the approval of the minutes. They were. I left them up were, to. Yeah, they were sort of. Uh, one minute. I wasn't here, so I can't make a motion. Anyway. <laughs> I'll read them. I did see something. I did too. Uh, I did see something. I did too. I did too. I did too. I did too. Do we have a motion to approve the minutes as um, written? I'm advising. Okay, thank you, Susanna. Um, do I have a second? I can I can second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, the um, minutes have been approved, Christy. And now we're going to move to the discussion of setting the guidelines for race requests on Holden Beach. Boy, when we left our last meeting, we thought we were going to have a race. And we didn't. We didn't, and I do have some additional information, okay. but before we move forward, I'm not sure if he contacted you, Karen, but just for the record, Nick has the shingles, and yes. he, he is not able to that. attend today, so okay. I wanted to, and then um, the change that has occurred on Monday, the police and I uh, met with the race company, and the conclusion that they have come to since they have been had well since the hurricane has impacted them last year and this year is that they're now going to do that race in january oh, <laughs> so that is going to change your decisions for today okay um because i know you're looking at limiting the number of per month or times mm -hmm. per year outside of tourist season is where it was going last time um so the january 19th is the date that their um the town approved for them for going ahead and advertising since that's only a few months away and then in the future if they're allowed to continue it would be january as well um and then the part that i had to do for you was to come up with a special event form um the only other information i wanted to include with this form that you got was that um If they were going to use a facility down here where it says, do you plan to use a facility, then the rules of those facility, that facility would also be attached. Because there's certain rules that go with the picnic shelter across the park. There are certain rules that go with the pavilion. So the, instead of spelling out everything individually as part of this form when it might not be needed, those would just be attached is what I was thinking because they're already set for those facilities. Christy, I was just looking on um, on their website today, the, the Run HB website, and um, they had already scheduled that um, that next race for um, September 14th of um, 2019. Um, so obviously they'll have to go ahead and change that on their website. But do you have any other um, dates for 2019 as of yet? I do not. That's the only one. That and then the turkey trot is obviously every Thanksgiving okay. morning. But okay. other than that, I don't have anything else that's okay. been marked in. Another thing I tried to look for was the um, the other for-profit race company, the Michael Lucas Footprints. I couldn't find anything at all on now he yeah, is yeah. non-profit he's the one that on or i'm sorry not owns but runs castaways uh -huh. um and he did provide the town with a non-profit documentation the for-profit company was the one that colin hackman is involved in in wilmington oh okay, okay. he's the okay. one that was the either in sports or weather and realized there was money to be made in these races mm -hmm. and started his own company And that interest in Holden Beach, be, moving to Holden Beach for that for-profit company, 
uh, came as word through um, actually Steve Mercer because he has been involved with him other places oh. and he just wasn't interested as long as a company was here it was one of those if that ever goes away we're interested kind of thing I don't think they want to push anybody else out of the market mm -hmm. so he hasn't pursued in making phone calls about So I guess we were tasked to go ahead and look at um, the other things that we had mentioned last time, which included how many races, um, the fee and the reserve to um, um, waive the fee in any conflicts. Um, I don't know how we want to go ahead and move forward on, on those issues. Um, Since this January, is a reschedule with, with the new rules apply as far as the fee is concerned, or are they? The information I shared with them at this time is that they would want to hold off on marketing any prices because this board was looking at changes for 2019 mm -hmm. and it could impact what they want to charge if they are charged more by the town. Okay. So they are waiting to hear what decisions come out of okay. these meetings. So then what, whatever we come up with today then obviously would be presented to the Board of Commissioners and then they would have... Um, it, it, is that how that works? It'll, it will go to David and if it's something through our ordinance or mm -hmm. that is going to mm -hmm. be impactful to a family would, would require a change to our fee schedule, then it would go before them. Okay. So maybe if we just took each question and put it up for discussion and then vote on it and move through those, can we do that? We can do that. I would make a recommendation about conflicts, though, if that helps you guys. I would think that if they're, the conflict thing that you came up with was if two applications came in for the same date is what John mentioned, and I think that would probably be handled at the staff level, like if that makes oh, okay. it easier for you mm -hmm. to... Yeah, sure. Like if somebody had been doing it for 10 years sure. and somebody was brand new, you'd obviously want mm -hmm. to... Well, and obviously, a run, a run HB is a bad omen for us, so we just wanted to move on to a different time of the year anyhow. <laughs> well, yeah, having, having said that, um, Christy, what are your thoughts then on, uh, you know, if another for-profit or, or somebody comes up and says, well, you know, we're just going to want to give it a try in September, do we just, do you kind of throw September out as far as races like, I mean, what, what do you, how do you handle that? I think it depends on what you guys decide um, as far as if you're ruling out tourist season with your recommendations. Um, certainly we would share with them the information that the two races have been canceled um, and that they would certainly want to look at something like a, in, event insurance um, mm -hmm. for Hurricane because I don't think that Coastal Race Productions had that until this year. So they were covered this year, but I don't think they had it last year. Um, so we would certainly be forthcoming and sharing information, but especially if you guys attach a flat fee, and I'm just going to use Ocean Isle in our discussion from last month, but if you pick a $1,500 fee or a $1,700 fee and the town's looking at ways to generate revenue and a race company comes in and wants a September and it's not been excluded by the board, then I don't think we would turn them away without looking at their application. Okay. I will say this. Uh, January 1st, I can't remember what year, in March something, there were two different storm northeasters that hit this island. There was as much devastation on January 1st Every walkway on this beach was wiped out. There was three feet of water down in the canal area, and I know that was January 1st because we were here on the island when that happened. And then there was what they called a march. It was like a, it was a snowstorm inland, came across western North Carolina, across South Carolina, and hit here, and the same thing happened. So. 
it can happen other times of the year. It can, and I shared that with them. I, I told them I, I couldn't remember, but I thought we had snow this past year in January is when we had that snowstorm, and they may still want to look at insurance, but that was totally up to them. But January wasn't out of the woods month. Right. Or what I don't think we can predict the weather that we're going to say this month. A tourist season, you understand, because of the liability. But other than that, we don't know what's going to happen. We can't make those predictions. And their businesses, they should know what they need mm -hmm. to do to cover their liability. Mm -hmm. Would the $1,500 flat fee cover all of the town's expenses? I feel like it would based on what we um, broke down on the spreadsheet. Uh -huh. um, <clears throat> certainly if they begin to list other things on here um, as far as trash and cleanup and Chris's crews, we would have to look at that. But most folks are, are self-contained in that respect. They clean up after themselves mm -hmm. and they bring in extra containers and extra quarter johns and well, I noticed you said that it would it would be it could be an exception if they needed those kind of things. So the flat fee would cover the police and and if they wanted the pavilion or the picnic shelter you would that would be included in oh, the <laughs> The most expensive one you gave us on the sheet last month was um, that was the run age being up was eight hundred and thirty dollars and fifty six cents for the officer. For the officer. So that's kind of a benchmark as far as I just want to bring up the, don't, we can't forget that the, the search 5K, that's twice. So it comes out to $722.72. It's two times a year. For spring and the ball. spring. Yeah. So that's a total amount. And I think the search 5K is, um, I, I looked online today too, and that's scheduled for November 3rd. So we'll have um, the search 5, I, yeah, the search, is that what I mean? Yeah, the search 5K um, for November 3rd, and then the turkey trial goes on Thanksgiving. Are we okay with that? Still doing? those two even though we've kind of talked about one month or something like that. I think you guys, well, in the discussion last month, yes, you said that anything with the town would be excluded unless it came to, I think Olivia made the point, and then you joined in, Karen, that things, if organizations went away, like Nick moving away now, Search 5K, if it became a town event and the town took it over, then it would need to be looked at spreading them out again. So, yes, I, I think for now everything was okay with that. That's what I understood. So going back to your list that you provided last month as part of that handout where you gave us the, what the other surrounding areas are doing, we need to address those, that last category and those questions. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. okay. And those questions were? They're on, they're on the yeah. second sheet of this one. Yeah. It's a, um, where Christy gave the information as to what the other features are going to Starts with, should there be a limit on the number allowed per year? Read them out loud if you have. Yeah, that's okay. That's good. You got them? You got them?
Well, what did we come up with then? Um, should there be a limit on the number of races allowed per year? I guess. Um, I guess this is just my opinion. I'm not as concerned per year as I am per, per month. month. Yeah. All right. And and season. Right. Right. I mean, I think anybody that wants to run a race in January, I say go for it. Um. <laughs> so, so I think that what we agreed, yes, and I think it was pretty unanimous in the discussion that we want to avoid the tourist mm -hmm. months, which is mm -hmm. my more of a delivery and a safety issue. So I then think we, we all at, would be in agreement with that. And we looked at the number of months, if you're talking September, October, November, maybe, I don't know if you eliminate a month, but you'd be talking four and four, five, nine months. Is that right? If you're going to eliminate... If you're going to eliminate yeah. September, June, July, and August, August. Nine August. Months. Uh -huh. So is it a maximum of... I mean, we need some recommendations to either discuss it or vote on it, I guess. Um, I know what I put out there, but other people put some, and you had some suggestions. Christy, before. how cumbersome is it for you to have these activities, all these races? I mean, how does it impact your workflow? Because um, you're the most impacted person, mm -hmm. right? right? If I think now we're good as long as we don't add any more to the fall, but with the big one, me, it moved to January mm -hmm. just this week. I mean, that kind of changes that up. So. Um, I, I think one of the next questions were how many total do you think we should allow um, to come in before we say that we've reached our limit and we're not going to allow any more races. So right now out? we've got five, five correct? Mm -hmm. We've got yeah. two search five Ks. Yeah. We've got um, the Merchants um, yeah. Day of the Docks. Are we counting the... Uh, Turkey trot. And then the turkey, turkey trot. And the well, if you set a maximum of X number a year, meaning from September to end of May, whether it be eight or six or whatever, not to exceed X number of months, mm -hmm. a month. That's kind of what we're looking for here, right, Christy? So I had thrown out the recommendation last month, and I can't remember, I've said the minutes to what you put down. I had I'd just thrown out eight a year maximum. Because we're already, with, and then we talked about two a month, but then total of eight because some people would prefer a particular spring month and people may avoid December, January. So mm -hmm. that was my recommendation. And you had? I think I had six. Uh -huh, you had six. And did you have a monthly recommendation in the discussion? I think, I think we discussed two a month. Okay. So I, my, I guess my only concern is, is I mean, you know, they're great fun and, and so forth. What what's the real benefit to the town of having you know more than that, or, or mm -hmm. for that matter, having a race at all? <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, it brings in people. Yeah, yeah. I think that them moving to January is going to help bring rentals rentals in mm -hmm. in a month that normally wouldn't be mm -hmm. because the problem that they were seeing with getting the rental companies to agree to rent for a weekend is they could not do that in September ahead okay. of time. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. um, and so they the town benefits if nothing mm -hmm. else off mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. I mean except the a lot of houses are winterized and they wouldn't open it for right. a weekend. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. And then the rest, yeah. the restaurants won't get the business because they they're here yeah. in September but closed for yeah. the most part in January. January. Mm -hmm. So if we already have five on the list, I can you know I can live with eight per year, no more than two more per month because I think the two per month helps protect the a permanent. Residence. The only thing negative so. was the lady that came from. I have to look at the minutes because I don't know her name again. But it was Beverly Compton. Beverly she Compton. came from the beautification. She just said, you know, and local, locals don't love having to deal with the bridge being closed. Mm -hmm. um, but Most of the races don't close yeah, the bridge. It's, 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 it's only one. that, yeah, just that run HP. Just the one. And it's usually mm -hmm. closed while we're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Another thing yeah, we yeah. might have to consider, <laughs> or they might have to consider, and I don't know where we stand with the uh, 
highway department, but at one point this bridge was going to be closed part of the year to one lane traffic uh, for to put up repair. the rail. To put up the railing. And I don't know where we are on the back Burma since there's so many roads well, washed up. But um, I haven't heard an update on that since the storm. And if this is on a Saturday, chances are they're not going to. They not be they're not going to. Well, they would Yeah. Yeah, my memory is they are not going to be impacting the bridge over weekends. Mm -hmm. And that's at any time of year. So, yeah, I think, yeah. are we okay then with eight per year and um, two, per, the, two per month? Is that the motion? Do we have a motion? Do we have a motion? Can I make, we make a motion that we go with. Um, a maximum of eight per year with um, two a month. And that would be between September and May, excluding June, July, and August. No more than two a month, right? No, no more, more than two a month. month. Do we have a second for that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, Christy, we passed that one. Okay. A uh, um, fee? Do we need this? Then I guess it's the fee schedule. It's the fee. I find it. She's <laughs> um, the fee. Um, well, it looks like the maximum number of police that they used were five, and that came to $830.56. So we think that the $1,500 would, would cover that. We can always say over there that it's going to be an event that requires more than five million. Mm -hmm. Make it work expensive too. And the town, there is the caveat going to be that we can typically put that they can be waived back the discretion of the town. Yes, uh, that was what so you guys talked about motion. last time as part mm -hmm. of for nonprofits. That should be part of the motion. Okay. I, I think the discussion was that. John said he had seen nonprofits that were not true nonprofits, mm -hmm. right. so they should submit everything and then the town make the decision on the um, fee, whether it would be waived or not for things like Search 5K. Mm -hmm. okay. So who wants to make that motion? Do, should, I mean, we're not going to make any significant money. It's not for making money, it's for it's recouping money. Right. Uh -huh. So if we charge fifteen hundred for the for all races conceivably, then we would really make enough off of a for profit to cover right. the expenses of a non profit if the town decided to waive it. At least I'll say it. it. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's basically what you're looking at. Yeah. I, I haven't run the other figures in that term, but yeah. Okay, well that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the motion would be to charge a set, and it would be an application fee, would it not? Mm -hmm. For the $1,500, and that the town has the discretion to waive fees for the nonprofits, or for nonprofits. Is there anything else that needs to be on the yeah, and, and, uh, <coughs> excuse me. and if the event requires more than X number of police officers, then that would be an additional fee. Right, so we set up to what, five? Mm -hmm. Well, the yeah, only one, the most expensive to, one was 800 and something. Yeah, yeah but, but we're saying if you came in with an event that required 10 police officers right. or whatever, then obviously then, you know, it's just going to cost you more. I don't know how big these things can possibly cut, but just so we're covered, you don't have to go back and do it. Yeah, we're exactly. Mm -hmm. So, how will we work that? Um, we, we could put something in there about if it, if if you know the size of the event requires more than five police officers, then an additional, an additional fee will charge. be applied. Yeah. Are we doing an application fee? Mm -hmm. That is yeah. fifteen I think you should call that a special There's event a, fee. Special a special, special event fee. fee. Because most people who charge application fees, they, they are not that large. So I think you could get some kickback okay. if. So should there be an application fee prior to the approval of the town? And then when the town approves the 
function they pay the balance? I don't. I I think. I don't know if the view's worth the climb on that one. Typically, most folks around municipality-wise that I've seen, if they charge an application fee, it's like $25. Mm -hmm. So, no. if they, if they, um, I think they'd submit their paperwork and then the town will tell them what they have to pay and they'll bring their check back by. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can we stipulate a deadline to return the money, I mean, mm -hmm. to get the money in? And also, uh, the applications would have to be so many days ahead of the event for planning purposes for the town, correct? So does that mean some of those guidelines are going to need to be modified, Christy? Um, I think that you can add something on here and must be returned three months prior to the event. I think that's the amount the DOT requires for consideration of closing the bridge for people like the merchants and mm -hmm. um, parades and that kind of thing. We always have to give a brace letter. So I think that there can be a line on here and that covers it. You don't have to have it as part of a motion. Okay. So the two things you were looking at is the application has to be made 90 days or whatever you said in advance, but then you're also saying that once the event is approved that there's X number of days that the fee should be paid? The fee should, fee should be paid by the day of the event. It, uh, to me, it should be paid much prior to be sure they're they got skin in the game. at least a month prior, I would think. Current policy is that I won't hold a facility for more than two weeks on the books in pencil before I have to have a check okay. for either the facility well, or the picture show. That's what I normally boxes. tell people on the phone. Now, we don't have that written down anywhere, but that's just the you rule of thumb. But yeah. should be able to catch our form. Yeah. I, know, I realize they've got to wait, in, all, in some cases, they've got to wait. Yeah. For the income mm -hmm. to come in before they pay, but I guarantee you these for profits have it. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have that. Doing it for profit. I have that under notes. There's going to be a line added that says must be returned 90 days in advance of event, and payment must be returned in two weeks after application review. So if you let them know. And if you get it 90 days ahead and you let them know in 30 days that they're approved, then the check would be due in two weeks. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, and so then so far, um, whoever's making a motion, I, I've written down, charge a flat fee of $1,500. The town has the authority to waive the fee. And then you guys started in on for additional officers. And I think you were going to say additional fees may be included. May be applied. Yep. Maybe that's why. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. And did you get the town can waive for nonprofits in there? Uh, I had town has authority to waive fee okay. for nonprofits. Nonprofits. So going back to the form, if we've got the responsible party signature and a date, and then the signature of the town manager or designee, that would be approval. We need a date on that, so that would be the date. It starts the two weeks, is that correct? Okay. And then the next line is um, user fee amount and payment method date paid. Okay. I, uh, I need somebody to make the motion on the fee before we, if you guys are there yet, before we go to the next question. Okay. Yep. I, I've, okay. I've got one thing before we go. Um, if the company or the business organization comes in and wants a breakdown of that fifteen hundred, are we supplying that to them? No. Okay. How would? Okay. All right. All right. It's a flat fee. <laughs> That's what it costs you to have the uh, to be on. Um, but I don't think we would owe anybody an itemized oh, list of how we. Yeah, I think one town did that sunset or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emptying the trash cans. All right, I think I can say this. Stop me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I make a motion that we charge a fifteen hundred dollar special event fee. 
giving the town the authority to waive that fee for nonprofits at their discretion and at the towns at the, at the town to waive it at their discretion and um, if the number of police officers required exceeds five an additional fee may be charged Will or may, I don't care. What do y'all think? Will be charged? We, we, we have to. Will be charged. And then you can decide how much per officer after talking with the police chief. At the amount of more. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's go back to this one so, um, so that we know what you guys are voting on before we have a discussion. All right, so Becky made a motion to charge a special event, special event fee of $1,500. The town has the authority to waive the fee for nonprofits at their discretion. If the number of police officers exceeds five, then an additional fee will be charged. Mm -hmm. Do we want to, do you want to put in there how much per officer? Change it. No, okay. Did we need to capture the 90 days and the two weeks on that same motion? The word tax. Okay. Because they are. They are at the town. Well, the town, it, it, make it specific to the town. Or you town. could just change it to say the town, the town has discretion yeah. to waive the fee for nonprofits. And that might make it clearer. Oh, who's going to wait it? Right. That takes us a long way. Yeah, but who's approving all that? Karen, I think you'll have to get a second before they can discuss anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. This, okay, do we have a second? Second. Yes. Second. Susanna, second. Um, any more discussion? So we've got the motion. Can you just read it one more time, Christy? Uh, yes, ma'am. I will try to. I've marked through here. So they, um, Becky made a motion that we charge a special event fee of $1,500. The town has the discretion to waive the fee for nonprofits if the number of police officers exceeds five, an additional fee will be charged. Any discussion? Do we need to say anything about races or read the very first? I think part. it's just a special event. A special event. She's using this form for any special event. Okay. Oh, okay. So they're going to bring a, a circus. Okay. <laughs> they're going to charge the cost $1,500. Yeah. Okay. We, we've, got, we've got a motion. We've got a second. We've had discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, Christine. All right. Um, so this other form here for 50th anniversary um, is that was in the packet is you guys asked me to consolidate ideas. Um, I tried to do that into three categories. So um, Public submissions were one of them because you guys talked about essay contest, artwork, photos for display. Marketing was another category because um, you pr talked about a year-long marketing campaign and then some other things that, um, like changing the flag, I understand that's a big no-no. So, um, but there were some other things that were under that category and then events. Uh, the big thing you wanted to come back to, Becky was out of town the last you had talked to someone who said that the 25th anniversary, they thought there was a time capsule and you were going to see if you knew where it was buried. Gay says that she knows there was a 25th anniversary capsule. And the, the town hall faced the chapel at that time. And there was a sidewalk and it was buried on one side of the sidewalk. She said maybe somebody could take a metal detector out there, but she also said she knew the beacon was there making pictures. So in the archives of the beacon, there could be a picture 
of the location where you could figure out about where it is. But there was a 25-year time capsule. I wonder why that was not dug up dug when they built this building. Oh, probably had to have a lot of fun. Thing so I think where you guys were, we're trying to come back to once everything was down as far as what seemed to be consolidated ideas that you wanted to go back in and try to put a timeline on things for today. And that's why we were revisiting as where, where I had us. Do we decide if this is going to be a week long or a year long celebration? I think the bulk of the events were going to be Thursday through Saturday, um, Sunday was going to not be town affiliated because of church and state, but on her own, Dolly was going to reach out to the chapel um, as part of her idea that they would want to include the history of the chapel here. So um, I mentioned it at uh, beautification last Wednesday and requested that, because uh, I think we meet just about that time in February, or uh, ask that they do something at that meeting, even though they've got a program already established, maybe take um, some of the time to uh, at least recognize the fact that it's the Um Christy and I, I'm the only non-resident, full-time resident, rather. And so with the marketing piece, I think we're, we're losing, would lose some opportunity if we didn't at least put 50th anniversary of the town on stuff that we're printing, not reprint stuff for the sake of that, but for anything that is being printed, like you said, that the rental agencies with rental companies have certain things that you provide to them about the events and the functions that take place, like um, tie-dye and all that. At least kind of give that some attention. And we talked about the banner, and you said that cause that was doable, like a sign or one of those banners at the end of the bridge, you know, there's nothing to say that after that week it cannot be taken up and put back, say, from Labor Memorial Day to Labor Day. Just so it brings to people's um, attention this 50 year anniversary. This year is the 50th year. Um, I think that, that would be sufficient if you said there's already things that the town prints and provides in bulk. Am I, am I misspeaking or is that correct? Um, no, we do. The, like, the concert flyers for all the towns, so I, I don't know that we could include it on there, but if there's other things we give them or we could encourage them, reach out to them now for the things they're printing for January and February, mm -hmm. just to let them know so that they might want to put that on there. So that I can reach out to them on that if you guys decide you want to go that route. And the only other thing I really still come, would like to see us do something and really promote that week, something that is maybe on Saturday, Saturday and for Saturday evening, and really try to push it out through that um, email that we all get from the town, because I think there will be homeowners that would come in to celebrate, do some fun so, things, John. and make that kind of the anniversary day, Saturday, with maybe something at lunchtime and something in the afternoon with speakers in the evening in, co in connection with um, um, because a lot of folks at work, by the time they get here, anything that you did Friday night would be over. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm thinking in terms of the years that we worked, we rolled in here at 8.30, 9 o'clock. Um, mm -hmm. So something Friday night would be, really it would just be for those that are the full-time residents. I don't think that you're, or if some of the retirees that could come in earlier. The, I'd love to see us really promote it. Yeah, um, the only problem with, I think, with Saturday is, um, you know, I, I know that when we started this conversation last month, um, Christy had mentioned the the, um, the workload on the staff, and it being a Saturday, um, and having having all day events here, I know that that would, you know, it would require um, probably more people than, you know, just this board could go ahead and provide. Um, so I, I think, I, I don't know, I don't know, maybe we just talk about that. Um, 
maybe we look at these things that we kind of want to do and, and you know, plug in, are we going to, you know, we're thinking, I think, you know, if we were going to have a bonfire that did get approved, that kind of had to be Friday, I would think. I, I don't, I just don't know how much we could do Saturday with town hall normally being closed and, and um, things like that. But we can talk about that. Christy, what are your thoughts? I, you know, there again, I don't want to have to ask more of everybody than they're already giving because everybody's plate is really, really full. I think it depends on the way you go. If you go with, I mean, I'll be here. I, I'm talking about other other staff, but if you're Speaking of trying to do something Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I know that additional staff won't come over for three days. So that's why I was making sure that you guys were committed when you were doing this to be the chair movers and the table movers for all the events and the getting the firewood down to the beach and just keeping that into consideration that is a lot of that work is going to fall to the board. Um, it, if you... If, if you just chose one day, there I can't speak to the staff schedule. There may be staff that would be willing to come in for one day to assist if you did it and you wanted to continue this. I mean, I think things that you mentioned, I think you guys had really good ideas. I think things you mentioned like actually having a birthday party and cake on the day itself, February 14th at lunchtime, that's easy to take, it, take out and do. I mean, that's something that can be done and it doesn't require anybody to be here any additional time. Um, well, if we did the artwork, say, could that be on display at the lunch? Sure. Mm -hmm. and I think we try to consolidate yeah. as much as we possibly can. I don't think you guys should exclude anything you want to do based on that. I think you all are very talented and we can make it all work as long as you come up with um, the timeline. I just can't commit other staff. Mm -hmm. Well, and both of us on the on the board, possibly have neighbors and mm -hmm. spouses that we can volunteer and recruit. Mm -hmm. So we could possibly double the size of the board for the number of volunteers. Um, Let me. I, I, do you, how far do you want this today? It's just that if you guys want to, the main things that we need to reach towards if is you guys want a bonfire on the beach, which will require an ordinance to um, change, or not change, but an exception to the ordinance to go before the Board of Commissioners. The latest I think that we want to do that is December at the very latest meeting because then you would still want time to advertise that that's going to happen in February. Uh, the reason I asked that question, I'm wondering... You know, Steve Green and uh, Tom Burke live here on the island, and we might be getting the fire department, yeah, some volunteers from the fire department to yeah. help with the to save the bonfire. Uh, that, that's the reason I was asking that question. Uh, if they would volunteer to help us with the bonfire, if we chose to do the bonfire. Do you mentioned the December meeting. Do you think, Christy, we can maybe move that to the November meeting or something? Only so as far as, um, you know, planning and coordinating things like that so we could have a more, you know, definite. Um, um, yeah, I can, re I can request to put it on from staff on whichever agenda you would like it to go to them for. I just don't want us to go past looking right. at having it to them by December. So if you want to move it to November, that's fine. Does, does that sound all right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're talking about a lot of food and things like that, and I know that that requires, um, you know, a lot of work. Um, I, I was thinking that, you know, all of this, all of these events, especially a dinner, you know, if you're talking about a dinner, I mean, I would, I would charge for a dinner. I would have that I wouldn't think that that would be something that the town would supply or, or anything we're, like that. We're prepared to handle the dinner. We're, we're prepared to... But um, Christy, what if you have a lot of people from the outside community? Um, because like I said, I, I think a lot of people just consider Holden Beach their home. 
even though they're not living on the island. Have to pay us well, I did go over with David the things you guys said last time, and I was talking about when you mentioned, you know, if we needed to do covered dish or whatever, and he said, you know, the 50th, 50th anniversary is a big deal, and we would um, handle out of our promotions budget taking okay. care of the, okay. the meal. Okay. So it would just have to be something that I guess you sign up in advance. You right. You have to By a certain commit. Date. It's not, you know, come to Holden Beach for a shrimp boil or something. On. Certainly. Okay. Moving forward, I would love to think that we could do something in, it could be sandwiches or something, but we, but with the birthday cake, ice cream at lunchtime or early afternoon after lunch. Like if, if you're not going to include a lunch meal, then just ice cream at 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. not try to do a meal for that function. Mm -hmm. So it would be cake and ice cream. Mm -hmm. And that would be people who are either retired that can come in early in the week, or it would be those that are down here full time. And then for the next function, try not to do anything for Friday night. Let Saturday be our celebration day. Reaching out possibly to who said that? That was you, Becky, or that maybe talked about the fire department helping us with the bonfire. Mm -hmm. And if we get a dinner, it doesn't matter what the menu is. Do a Saturday night dinner to include the oral presentations from Lynn and Alan Holden. Those names were in the minutes, that's why I said those, but I don't have any, you know, it doesn't matter to me. And then after that, everybody goes out on the beach and does the bonfire. I mean, that would be a nice evening, and the main thing would be, you've got those wonderful conduits to promote it, Christy, like our um, mosquito spray, and we've seen those come through, you know, that's just a great, succinct, me messages that you can start sending out like you do all the other functions. Um, I'm like Christy, if you stretch it out with too much, you're going to be asking too much of the town, but I think that this committee, if we could, each one of us could tag one person, then we would have a fairly large group of, of rubber bees. So if you look at events that you guys narrowed down last time, I guess, the time capsule, would you want to do that with the birthday party or are you looking at do that on Saturday? I think I think if we're going to um, do a lot of things on Saturday, I think the time capsule would be, you know, that would be more during, you know, kind of like the daylight hours or something. Mm -hmm. I think that would be good on, on Thursday. Maybe you could... Or, do the time capsule and then come in and have birthday cake. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know. And if you've got the artwork and picture photos, mm -hmm. you could have, display. could have them displayed. Oh. And could they still be left up, up through Saturday? Mm -hmm. As long as, yeah, as long as they're like, we can have them around the edges mm -hmm. and still use the room. Mm -hmm. Being a retired public school teacher. <laughs> we don't need to ask them to do an essay contest. We don't no, need to no. ask them to submit. They've got no. 20 days they're not making up. No. Right. <laughs> so we need to take anything off the books that would involve public school. Right. Okay. Yep. Now if the member, if the people in the, the residents have pictures of Holden Beach past and present they would like to bring in, then I think that would be great just to have, you know, pictures around. Of, I mean, I've been coming in here 50 years. Mm -hmm. And I know I've got old pictures. I got pictures when Eric was in diapers. Mm -hmm. So you know, just bring some pictures of the beach and share how it's changed. But I don't think we need to ask the schools to do anything. And if you've got somebody that's real computer savvy, if people brought pictures in even a week or so ahead, they could be scanned. Oh, yeah. 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 Luke. Yeah. Have something yeah. that Luke could have it on the on the TV. Mm -hmm. So that they would just kind of be moving and all yeah. the whole time. That would be better than than bringing pictures in. Well, you could email them. You could email them to the person. Oh, whoever. Be, yeah. mm -hmm. Whoever. Is there someone here who has who could do that? Christian. Yeah, look here. We got a volunteer. Maybe there's somebody here. Okay. So here would be the person that that an email a month out would say, please. Email John pictures. Or even if people brought in hard copies, we could yeah, you scan them. Those of you that are technology savvy can whip that stuff out <laughs> in no time. <laughs>
Okay. And that, if, because if you put pictures out, there's a chance that it would walk out. Yeah. Well, and you could use this, this, this yeah. Thursday All and three. again Saturday. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it would be. And you've got three big screens you can show them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that all sounds pretty doable without people. Um, okay, going to a, like dinner. Oh, um, as much as I love oysters, oh, uh, I think oysters are going to be very expensive. <laughs> hey, <laughs> there you go. You don't want to get out of this water. Hey, we have a polluted ocean right there. Right there was a, um, oh, but I was wondering if we could do maybe just barbecue or a chili, or chili, mm -hmm. and because you could do it in oh, this yeah. room with tables set up. Oh. There was a function with one of the realtors a number of years ago, and I think it might have been during Easter. It's been a while, but uh, and, it, and I'm not going to name it because it's my Helen Holden business. <laughs> but they, you know, invited everybody that you know were clients or had referred or whatever, and it was Jerome's, which is Coastline something, mm -hmm. and they do a mix of barbecue chicken, fried shrimp. They did a lot. Kind of a mix. So maybe something like that, Christy, if that's not cost prohibitive. Um, what about food mm -hmm. trucks? Because I bet there's some food trucks that would love to <laughs> that, that there. Currently that would require that to go before the commissioners as well because we have vendor, vendor open vending. Oh, okay. But if that's the route you want to go, I'm not discouraging you. You should just include it on that agenda well, where yeah. you're also asking for. Well, it, not only that, but we've also got the Merchants Association to think about. So um, yeah. I think before we oh, okay. we so step outside of Holman Beach, I think we also yeah. need to consider our people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, but that's, yeah, look after our own. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to have um, once a month or something where you could have those trucks come in and if you wanted to, but again, it competes with local businesses. Mm -hmm. and they start to get their stuff in those few little months. Yeah. Anytime mm -hmm. get their business. Okay. The reason I was suggesting the, the barbecue or the chili is it's fairly easy to handle, fairly easy to make and to serve. You know, in the cleanup afterward, because we've cleaned up <laughs> in here after the Easter Bunny. Make us and cook. We we can um, sta staff can look at prices in comparisons, yeah. okay. mm -hmm. and we can just settle in if you guys choose to on dinner on Saturday, and then look at that as a whole. Um, and if you come to the dinner and the talk. There may be people who would go to the bonfire who so. didn't even do the dinner of the talk. Kind of do it as a package, either or, or all. Or, or all. If we want to have a bonfire, would we be prudent to ask at the November meeting instead of wait to December? Yeah, I think. The I think board of commissioners. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we don't want to be planning something that, right. and making all these plans and then it can't happen. So well, the sooner we ask permission, I think I would think that. Can we go ahead and ask for for permission, and, well, and then we, we have the it. option of not doing it if you know down the road we choose not to, but we would have it in place. Well, should we do it in the October meeting? Well, I was going to say. I mean, does October make more sense than November? Is the it, agenda's is already it, been is the agenda sent out. Already sent out? Uh, the October agenda has not been set, set, sent out yet. The September meeting was canceled, That's and true. there's some special meetings. But um, Why don't we I wait think much on the agenda. Yeah, I think there's a lot November. of stuff on October's agenda. Okay, let's wait till November yeah. then. That's right. Okay. So do we need motions or for any of this, or we just we um, kind of agreed, haven't we? I think you can agree by consensus that I will repeat that what I have is that photos are going to be submitted to, we'll have them submitted to the town and then John can get with me about um, making, he volunteered to do the scanning of the pictures for a PowerPoint slideshow. The um, essay contest and artwork have been deleted based on the schools being um, with the hurricane situation losing class time. 
marketing. We're going to try to do everything we can to get stuff to the realtor so they can start putting it on their advertisements for the year. Um, then there will be blasts to discuss these activities as they are verified and we're allowed to have them. Uh, we'll look at doing the time capsule on Thursday prior to birthday cake and ice cream at 2. A dinner on Saturday evening with oral history presentation. The fire department will be contacted about the bonfire if that's approved at the November meeting by the Board of Commissioners. And then at the event you talked about getting to the bottom of the list, you could also honor the families with two or more generations at the dinner and youngest continuous residents, oldest to youngest, if you decide to do that. Um, the two things that were not talked about were the tree planting, which was a category you talked about. I think if you're going to do that, you should do that on that Thursday event, but that's just my recommendation. I don't think you plant trees in February. I that's right. It's, it's going to be hard. Okay, and then Holden Beach trivia at the event is certainly something that can happen at dinner if you guys want to do that. I think we've got plenty. I think we've got plenty without that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, somebody's going to have to build a trivia game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. So, if All right, you should I go ahead and talk to Steve Green mm -hmm. at this point? And I guess I'm waiting. Waiting. Yeah. waiting. Yeah. waiting. Yeah. I'm getting some nods and some no's, mm -hmm. so y'all decide. Or mm -hmm. you want me to wait? Should we wait until I think the commissioner should give you approval first before it's out okay. in the community. I think okay. that's only fair to them. Okay. So then by next month, we need to have subcommittees as to what, mm -hmm. how each of us are going to serve, correct? Mm -hmm. Does that work? Is anything that needs yeah, to be done by November? Um. If you guys want to, so I mean, it's up, totally up to you. If you want to talk about it on the agenda again, you can. Or if you want to look at the things that interest you the most on this list and send me an email, and then if it's not divided out evenly, I can talk to people and see if somebody's willing to volunteer for something else. That's that's up to you. If you can just say that you have a consensus to what we talked about or not for the minutes purpose. So basically, you, we're going to need a checklist, correct, as to all that needs to be done. Right. So there's going to be somebody, once we know the bonfire, for example, it gets approved, somebody that's going to contact the volunteer fire department. But then, are there not going to be, the town's going to review menus and then you'll just bring those back. I'm just wondering if we just needed maybe a checklist so that we know what we need to do. Would you prefer we just send you what, when we'll be available and let you fill in? Don't do anything. Would yeah, that that'd help? be good. Just yeah. thank you, Olivia. So email, email Christy the date. If you're available for all of the time, you can let her know. And if you're available only Thursday or Saturday, let her know. Okay. And just and then she can use us how she needs to. Christy, oh, Olivia asked me to. She had to leave, but she is suggesting that the tie dye shirts that we do in the summer. Uh, have 50th anniversary of for 19. Oh, okay. And she's not sure, you know, if that would add to the cost store. But that might be a, a classic shirt. Right. 2019. That's a good idea. Hey, you know, I should mention they have the turtles too. When they come on with their yeah. turtle shirt, you know, put Happy Birthday Home on the Beach or something. Okay. So did you guys come to consensus approval of mm -hmm. what we talked about? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think what you... So Christy, then basically you 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 have gone ahead, and the town has um, hosted, I'm sure, different dinners and things. I, I know you have in the past, so you're going to look at that. Yes. So you don't need any of us to. Okay. And you know what the budget is, or David knows what knows what the budget is. 
So I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot for us to do between now and our next meeting regarding that. Right, I Just agree. Wait until um, we see what the board decides. Yeah. Um, anyway, can we move on to, then to the next item on the agenda? Yes, in the programs and facilities update, the little free library across the street that you guys put up as a project did sustain some damage during the storm. Um, Nick offered to repair. It's um, basically a section of the back that's letting water get inside of it, which is not good for the books. Mm -hmm. But he is currently sick. So if anybody else has any hands-on skills of being a carpenter and you would like to take that on <laughs> and you would like to visit with me about it otherwise he is offered um, when he is able to make that repair um, other facilities fared well um, as mentioned earlier the race was canceled and the international coastal cleanup had to be canceled due to the hurricane the um, books that you guys uh, I think Dolly made the suggestion about putting in the water bill that we needed the books. Um, somebody came in to check out their house from out of town that has a daycare and brought about four cases of books. Wow, mm. oh, that's awesome. Um, and I helped her unload those. We've also had two more um, rather large donations come in. So that did help and we have some children's books now to go in there once we have the repair complete. I did talk to um, Helen Gabriel over at Smart Start and she's not able to what the uh, Dolly Parton program, um, you send that directly to her foundation and then they, um, the child's information, and then they send that right to the child's house. So there's, there wouldn't be any way that we can get those books through Dolly Parton. Hmm. But it sounds to me like um, the um, water bill worked good. Well, Dwight's on the board at, at Smart Start, and I think Helen has agreed yeah, that she's any books. age of books that are not age appropriate for preschool, she will give to us. Okay. Like second, yeah. any grade yeah, yeah, she preschool. did mention that yeah. when I was there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that's what I had for programs and facilities. Upcoming special events? Yes, with the hurricane, it seems to be here before we know it. But Boo at the Beach is coming up in two weeks, October 19th, 5.30 to 7.30. Uh, the town will be holding the event. Um, I worked with children after Floyd because it was my last semester at ECU. And I think it is important to continue to have a community event that allows people to put something aside for the evening and come out. Um, and so we will be holding the event. There is probably eight to ten organizations that have committed besides the town. Wally and I have called a truce this year, so we will have one town booth. Oh, that's good. Um, if this board is able to help, or if any commissioners are able to help with the costume contest like you did last year, we would love to have that help. What's that day, Christy? It's Friday, October 19th from 5.30 to 7.30. Lewis and I will be there. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll be there. I will not. And the, um, by the next time we meet, the veterans luncheon will be close. Um, I will have that date. We meet on the 1st and it won't happen until um, closer to Veterans Day. So I'll need to check some calendars. We always invite the VFW. We will probably be looking at the 9th or the 12th for that to occur because the 11th falls on a Sunday. But I will get some more information to you at the next meeting. Oh, Lewis and I will be gone the first week in November. So I won't be here. That's a breakfast, isn't it? Um, last year we did a lunch, um, and we will probably stick to a lunch this year. Okay. I think we were we had both were well attended, but I think we had a little bit better, better turnout for the lunch, and the okay. room was pretty full. Is that it for 
special events. That's it. Um, I know it's public comment time, but I just, um, I don't know, I just wanted to go on record somewhere that, um, I just want to thank the town for everything that they oh, did man. during the hurricane. The updates were um, very, very, very mm -hmm. much appreciated. Um, and um, I just, I can't thank everybody enough um, for what they did. Yeah. And I'm sure it was time away from your families and um, we came back to an island that was virtually untouched. Um, we were so lucky. Thank you, Christy. And I hope that you relay that to the rest of the and, and Christy, it's so important that we, those of us who are off the island and you're hearing Wellington news and you're hearing Myrtle Beach news, but there's not a lot of news for those beaches mm -hmm. in between. So if it were not for, you know, the updates that we're getting mm -hmm. through the town mm -hmm. and the emails, you know, it's a little disheartening, you know, that we're not hearing anything from the media. And particularly, pass word to Chris Clemens, because I can't even begin to imagine the hours he must have spent in with the, um, with the infrastructure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there was a gentleman who sent a drone over the island before, I'm trying to remember his name, it's all over Facebook. He must have done, do you know who I'm talking about? He did, you don't do Facebook, but he did like six or eight different um, I don't do video Facebook. clips. Did you see them? Mm -hmm. And they were excellent. He did sections of the beach and he went up and down. Oh, and then he went to another I section. Think that, I think that down. is the son of one of the, oh God, oh. What is John Leggy? I mean, what, all? Oh, I'm doing a senior moment here. Point <laughs> break? Yeah, what, he, oh, the plumber? Pl pl uh, he's, oh, he's, he's, the son. <laughs> he's the son of one of the plumbers. Oh, and God, I didn't break. think a plumber to save my life. I mean, they were excellent, and that's something. Because he did our street uh, yeah. after we got yeah. that Tuesday or Wednesday afternoon. I happened to be in the yard, and I... <laughs> heard the sound over here. Because they can get on the island <laughs> with yeah. the drones before. No, he, I mean, he, this was after oh. everybody was back. And now what, what you saw, I don't know when that was done. I, anyway, thank you. Yeah, and I think Pat had a comment. Sure. Um, only because we do a 4th of July parade down at Holden Beach West POA that the mayor actually comes and, you know, he's like, Mm -hmm. Any thought about having a parade on Saturday for the 50th? You were saying about trying to get people something on Saturday, and parade can be it can be a combination of golf carts, walkers, bicyclists. And, um, we actually get the Tri Beach Fire Department out because kids get to climb on one of the fire engines and stuff. It's just a thought. You were saying something that can be. Not just the residents. I mean, we did it. Do it Saturday. Um, if you if you wanted to do a Saturday afternoon to lead into, if you're going to do a dinner, if you choose, you'd rather do a lunch. Do it late morning. Go into lunch, but it it can actually be fun, and you can you can choose to do little like prizes for best decorated whatever. But we do bicycles, wagons, best hat, you know. But we're Fourth of July. Just, just a thought for you know having something that's a little bit different, and and Mayor Holden usually is a very good MC for a parade. Okay, that's good. Is that something that we might want to put on the agenda for for um, next time? Just to consider us, yeah, consider that a Saturday, a Saturday event, and that would be kid friendly because you know right now. Mm -hmm. Focusing on yeah. old timers. Well, well, that's <laughs> exactly where we are. That's <laughs> reality. Yeah, that's who we are. Anything else? I think our next meeting is November first, if I'm not mistaken, at two o'clock. Okay. Anything else? Well, yes. Okay. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Okay. So moved. Second. Second. Thank you.